hello guys now we will see uh, how can we uh, check the material specifications and its procurement status in SAP R3P version so first of all uh, uh, we want to look at the specifications of the material we have the transaction MM03 so we put here the index number for example 10 dot dash 01 dash 992 so going on the purchase order text we can have the specifications now we want to see uh, its level in our store stock level we have the transaction one transaction we have MMBE so this is our uh, material index number plant and store storage location against this plant we uh, in unrestricted use there is no quantity which means that uh, there is no quantity present at stores neither it's in quality inspection it's on order so there must be some PO created for this item now we will see how can we uh, uh, check its PO another transaction for the stock is a list of warehouse the MB 52 so when we put all the parameters here we can have we have nothing at the stores then we have the transaction MD04 very important transaction we run it and then we get two information here it's uh, now this is the uh, schedule holding level so we have two types of items PD item and ND item PD items is scheduled item it's on schedule holding we have defined the ROL and ROQ levels, uh, reorder level and reorder quantities. When your quantity falls one below the reorder level, it's uh, automatically its PR is generated and uh, uh, according to the quantity defined in reorder quantity, replenishment quantity. So this is how this system works on automatic for the PD items, not for the ND items. ND items are procured uh, on one time basis uh, after getting management approval. So uh, first information we get from MD04 is this and the other information it's procurement status. If it's if there is nothing there uh, against uh, this item there will not be showing anything here. If there is some PR, a PR number will be showing here. But now we have its PO. So this PO number we, uh, its PO number is showing. So we copy it, we copy this number and then we will go to the purchase order transaction which is MB23N and then we put this PO number here now there is a PO in this PO there are two items and its delivery schedule is uh, 30.07.2017 and uh, its status we will see its delivery uh, sorry delivery delivery uh, sorry its in delivery schedule okay this is the delivery schedule uh, we are getting the same thing now uh, here we we are seeing we have ordered this much items and it is still to deliver when it would be delivered we will be getting value here delivered and then after quality inspection when its GRN will be processed and its invoice will be processed it will be written here as invoiced the same amount will appear here as invoice that the case is closed the PO has been processed so here we have still to deliver that the item is not yet delivered when it will be delivered this value will be disappear and here we will be getting cost and when it, its invoice will be processed it will be uh, mentioning here that it is invoiced we can also check the uh, PR number from uh, this purchase order here so this is the PR number if we click it we go to its PR and this is how we can check its uh, PR so thank you very much for uh, listening